So um, I couldn't find a video from Geraldine the Giraffe on how to do uh, this sound today so I thought I would film my own video. So this is our sound that we're learning today. Is it a digraph or a trigraph? It's a digraph. Why is it a digraph? Because it has got two letters. Good job. Okay, so <clears throat> this sound says O. Oh. Can you say O? Oh. What's the name of the first letter in our sound? Its letter name in the alphabet is O. Oh. What's the name of the second letter in the sound? E. And when they're together, they say O. Oh. So let's look at some pictures and um, listen to the sounds in these words. These are toes. Toes. T O S. Toes. Make sure you're segmenting with me as well so you can hear all the sounds in the words. Who are they? It's Spider-Man and Superman. You can also call them super heroes. Heroes. <sighs> e -er heroes. Let's look at another one. What are these? If we had just one of these um, vegetables or fruits, we'd call it a tomato. But because there are one, two, three, we call them tomatoes. Let's segment the sounds in that word. T -a -m -a -t -o -s. Tomatoes. Show me on your thumbs if you like tomatoes. Mm, yummy tomatoes. This is called a doe. A doe is a female deer. Can you hear the sounds in doe? D O doe. Great. Now we're going to try and read these words now. So we've spoke about the pictures and now we've got the words underneath to practice reading them. So you'll have to imagine the sound buttons are there again. T O S toes. Next one. Heroes. Do you remember superheroes? E -o -s. Heroes. Now that was a hard word to read because the e uh is making an ear sound. So that one was difficult. See what we've got here. T -a -m -a -t -o -s. Tomatoes. Did you hear what sound the a uh made there? Let's read it again so you can listen. T -a -m -a -t -o -s. It made an R sound, didn't it? So in that word, the A ah makes an R sound. We've got another one. D O Do. Do you remember what a doe is? It's a female deer. So it's a girl deer. Now we've got one word which I didn't have a picture for here. G O S goes. He goes to play with his sister. So goes. Excellent. Right now <clears throat> we're going to play a game. We're going to play clap, clap, think and frown. I'm going to be your teacher voice. So for this game, you need to get a piece of paper and a pencil. 
pause the video now whilst you go and get some paper and a pencil and then you can come back. Okay, so you should all have a piece of paper and a pencil. Now, I'm going to say a word and you've got to write it down. So, are you ready to say it with me? Clap, clap, think and frown. I'll say a word and you write it down. Can you write down toe? Ouch! I stubbed my toe. I'm going to do a text box here. Don't forget our O sound is spelt with an O and an E. Let me make that bigger for you. Toe. Can you write the word toe? Let me make it bigger. There we go. Toe. Three two, one, stop. You should have written the word toe like this. T -o. Toe. Did you do that? Excellent. Next one. Okay, get ready to clap. Clap, clap, think and frown. I'll say a word and you write it down. Can you write the word doe? A doe is a female deer. Doe. Doe. Add the number. Three, two, one, and stop. To write the word do, you have a d and a o. So remember, o sound is an o and a e. Do. Now we don't want the capitals there, so I'll get rid of that. Okay, let's do another one. Clap, clap, think and frown. I'll say a word and you write it down. Can you write down the word tomatoes? Tomatoes. That's a longer word, isn't it? Tomatoes. Three, two, one, and stop. I'll write down tomatoes on the screen, see if you got it right. T oh, mm, art. Oh, Tomatoes, tomatoes. Now we use the word tomatoes if we have more than one. If we have one, what do we say? Tomato. Okay, I think we'll do one more. Clap, clap, think and frown. I'll say a word and you write it down. Can you write down the word? Heroes, Sue Potato and Batman are heroes. Heroes. Three, two, one, and stop. Heroes is a difficult one because it's got the uh. So if we press the sound buttons when we read it, it says e -r -o -s. So the e is making an ear sound. So if you got that one wrong, don't worry because that was difficult. Okay, so now we're going to do something different. We're going to read some sentences together. Move this blue box and I've got a sentence for you to read. Let's press the sound buttons and read it together. K, a, n. Blend it. Can. Tricky word. What's that tricky word? U. 
What sound does those letters make? Uh, uh, t, hurt. Ooh, now that's a hard word to read as well. Your, your. Can you hurt your toe? Can you hurt your toe? Is it possible for your toe to hurt? Yes, it is. I hurt my toe before when I stubbed it on my desk and it was really painful. Can you think of a time you've hurt your toe? Okay, now let's read this one. Tricky word here. What does that say? Have. Well done. Have. Another tricky word. You. A. V. A. A. V. A. What word's that? Ever. S. E. N. Have you ever seen a d o? Have you ever seen a doe? Do you remember what a doe is? This is a doe. Does live in some forests. In England they have quite a lot of does. But if you want to see them you have to be very quiet because they're scared of loud noises. So if you are noisy in a forest, you won't see a doe. You have to be quiet. So I wonder now if to finish, you could write a sentence about something. Maybe you could choose to write a sentence using the word toes. Or you might want to write one about superheroes. You might write a sentence about tomatoes or a dough. Shall we do one together and then you can choose which word you'd like to write a sentence about. Um, what shall I do mine on? I'm going to write a sentence about toes. So I'm going to get this picture and get a new slide here. Let's see, okay, so here's my toes. Whoops. And I'm going to think of my sentence first of all. Now, hmm, let me think of a sentence about toes. Can you think of one too whilst I'm having some thinking time? So I thought of a sentence, I'm going to tell you my sentence first of all. My sentence is, my toes are hot. They are hot because I'm wearing slippers. So my sentence is, my toes are hot. Let's count the words in that sentence. Show me your fingers that you're counting. My toes are hot. How many words are in that sentence? Four. Now I'm going to write it down. What was the first word in my sentence? My. My. Is that right? Spelling? Good. Now toes. How do I write toes? What's the first sound? Oh, how do I do the O sound? Do you remember? Is that it? No, it's not an R and an A. Is it two R? No. Is that it? An R and an A? Yes. My toes. Because I have more than one, so we have to say toes. My toes. And now I've got a tricky word, R. In case you've forgotten it, I'm going to type this one. A -r -a. My toes are hot. Hot. 
Art. Is that right? Show me of your thumbs if my sentence is right or not. Uh -uh. What is wrong with my sentence? What's wrong at the beginning here? Do I have my capital letter at the beginning? No, so I need to add my capital letter. My toes are hot. Should they be capital letters? No, so we need to change those. And how do we finish sentences? With a full stop. So I've finished my sentence now. Can you write a sentence about one of our O words? You could do it about toes. You could do it about superheroes, tomatoes or a do. Okay, enjoy the rest of your day.